Uh, my name is Erica, I'm going to tell you how I made money out of YouTube, and it's not the way you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so my name is Erica, and I've got a bit of a weird story. Um, Candice actually asked me to talk a bit about how I got into the career that I'm in now, um, rather than sort of focusing on the, the cool programs and stuff that I get to do in day-to-day -day life, but I'm going to brag about it to start off with anyway. So um, I've got two main jobs, which is one being CEO of my own company, which is a startup called The Creative Element. Uh, I do rapid prototyping and light manufacturing for startups in the ACT, um, and a big part of that is actually prototyping for a lot of female innovators with really big, ambitious ideas. Uh, yeah, so the reason that's really cool is we don't have a lot of female tech startups because there's not a lot of females in the tech space, so being able to do things in hardware or physical products is a, a really great opportunity to get more women into the startup space as well. Um, the other cool thing that I get to which is brand new, is the program of uh, stem cells. So I'm actually educating young women to get into science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and entrepreneurship. Uh, so I'm not sure how I managed to wrangle some government funding for that, but that's a, a new program. Please talk to me about that if you want to help out later. Um, and I also get a few team captain of BattleBots if anyone knows what that is. <laughs> <laughs> so a bit about my background. Three years ago, I had a really boring job. I was in the Sunshine Coast, living a life, uh, working for a, a women's magazine selling ads. And it wasn't bad, it just wasn't my passion. I did not have tried uni about three or four times and didn't stick with anything, so I don't have a degree. Um, and I didn't actually realize at the time, but uh, I got fired from my job because I looked terrible, basically. I was working in sales and I started getting an immune deficiency disorder thing that turned out to be uh, extreme dermatitis, basically. 90% of my body was covered and it looked like a leper on my face was like peeling off. Uh, so yeah, working in sales. Not so well. <laughs> yeah, so at the time my, my partner actually got a my partner at the time got a job down in Canberra working for DFAT, so I thought stuff it, I'll come and hang out in Canberra for a bit, can't be that bad. Um, and so I ended up watching a lot of YouTube for three months. Which is really awesome. I got trapped in a bedroom, a medically sealed bedroom for three months. Uh, I couldn't leave except to go to the bathroom because I was so allergic to everything and reacting to everything with my immune system. Uh, and they actually threw me on chemotherapy for it, which was really bizarre, but worked really well. So go to the doctors. <laughs> but what did I learn in three months on YouTube? Um, I actually I melted my bed at 3 a.m. Uh, I was trying to do electronics for the first time. So I got bored watching Netflix and started trying to teach myself stuff off YouTube. Um, and one of that was I really should have been an engineer. I really like making stuff and I'm actually pretty damn good at it. And uh, thank God my partner at the time was a mechatronics engineer. So one of our spare bedrooms had a whole bunch of electronic gear in it. So I slowly, with my bit, was clawing it into the bedroom until the entire bedroom and the bed was just surrounded with like soldering stations and like pissing people and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I was like, damn, I should start doing business. So as soon as I got healthy again, that's uh, pretty much what I did. In combat robots! Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the one getting annihilated is actually mine. <laughs> Wood. Uh, don't build combat robots out of wood. <laughs> um, but I, I don't have a degree in engineering and I built a freaking robot. So uh, that's the, the lesson here is that you can have really cool ideas and teach yourself. You don't need a degree, you have a bit of ambition. And uh, from this dodgy little wooden uh, car bench looking thing, I built this, <laughs> which is way cooler. So this is the robot that I built with a team of four others. I definitely did not do this alone. Um, and his name is Death Roll, and I got to go to America and be on the primetime TV show fighting uh, some of my biggest heroes in combat robot building. <laughs> so, this is all in the space of two years as well, so it's been a bit of a very busy two years. Um, but I realized after that, I should have been an engineer, I should have been doing this stuff much earlier, and I should be showing other adults how to do this sort of stuff. So I started four separate things all at once. <laughs> Manufacturing, but then I also started this thing, Pretty Dangerous Science, which is workshops for adults to show you how to blow stuff up. Really good fun. Um, and then the maker movement, which is really important, I think, um, which is getting all of this maker mentality into schools and setting up maker spaces in schools so they can build their own combat robots and get to use cool things. Um, but more importantly, I now have stem cells, which is teaching uh, up to 45 girls at a time every six months in a year uh, how to do everything from uh, making their sound reactive clothing and wearable, so DIY Fitbits and all sorts of things to uh, software engineering stuff and making our own websites and that sort of thing. So I really love mentors and support for that. Uh, we do have federal funding, but we don't have enough and I want this program to keep going. So if anyone can help me with some DOSH, come talk to me. <laughs> uh, but if anyone's got cool
cool toys and wants to come mentor, please come and talk to me about that.